I'm Terence Law, and I'm a PhD student at Georgia Tech. Today, I'll be talking about how question answering systems to provide causal claims can present evidence about correlation to mislead people to make conclusions about causation. You can find the PDF of our paper on my website, terencelaw.github.io. Here is Tableau Explain Data. With Explain Data, users can ask why there is an extreme observation in their data. And Explain Data will conduct causal inference and provide potential explanations for the extreme data observation. Causal inference from observational data is inherently challenging. There is some chance that the claims made by Explain Data is a false conclusion. If users believe in what the system says, they will misinterpret the data and draw wrong conclusions about the data. Motivated by this observation, we had two research questions. Do users misinterpret the system's causal claim? And if yes, how do we mitigate the misinterpretation? To address these questions, we conducted three crowdsourced studies. As a first step, we conducted a pre-study to collect causal claims with different levels of plausibility. A causal claim may be something like low level of employment rate in Mississippi may be affected that leads to high poverty rate in Mississippi. In study one, we presented participants with a series of why questions and answers to these why questions. For example, the why question might be, why is the poverty rate in Mississippi so high? And the system's answer might be a causal claim like low, level, low employment rates in Mississippi may be affected that leads to high poverty rates in Mississippi. These causal claims were gathered from the pre-study. For each question, we asked participants to what extent do they agree with the causal claim. For study one, we also wanted to mimic typical question answering systems that tend to be unreliable in answering why questions. So some causal claims were reasonable, some were unreasonable, and some were difficult to judge whether they were reasonable or not. To learn what kinds of design led to the most user misinterpretation, we presented the answers with different designs. In the first design, there is only a causal claim. The second design presents a scatter plot as a visual evidence about correlation. In the third design, we further added a textual description that describes the correlation between the two variables. In the final design, there is uh, a message that warns participants that although it seems that there, there is a correlation between the two variables, correlation is not causation. So what do we find from study one? We found that when the scatter plot was presented to show evidence about correlation, there was a higher likelihood that people would agree with unreasonable claims. And with the warning message, people were less likely to agree with uh, the reasonable claims. But we did not see this effect for unreasonable causal claims. It meant that warning was somewhat effective in mitigating the misinterpretation of correlation as causation. After study 1, we also conducted a study 2. Study 2 was the same as study 1. However, instead of seeing causal claims with different levels of plausibility, in study 2, participants only saw reasonable causal claims. In study 1, we found that the warning message made people more cautious in accepting some causal claims. But in study 2, we were not able to see any effects. The warning message did not make participants more cautious in accepting the claims. Let's go back to our research questions and see what we've learned. By presenting visual evidence about correlation like a scatter plot, these systems could increase the likelihood for people to accept causal claims even when they do not sound reasonable. And a simple warning that Correlation is not causation. It's not always effective in increasing people's awareness that correlation is not causation. So they tell us that when question answering systems do not provide reliable answers, these systems could be designed in ways to encourage skepticism. And for the ideas for designing question answering systems that encourage skepticism, you can learn more from our paper at terencelaw.github.io. With that, I'd like to thank my collaborators and thank you for watching this talk.